In this session, we will learn ratio and proportion. What is a ratio? A ratio is a relationship between two numbers. For example, 4 is to 7. 4 here is the antecedent and 7 is the consequence. There are two ways of representing a ratio. Using a colon, which is read as 4 is to 7, and writing it as a fraction, which is read as 4 by 7. Remember that all these are ways to write the same number. What is a proportion? A proportion is an equality between two ratios. It is represented by a double colon. In a proportion, the middle terms are called the mean term and the two extreme terms are called the extreme term. Let us now look at some key concepts. The product of means is equal to the product of extremes. A is to B is as C is to D then A into D is equal to B into C. This is also called the cross product. The total quantity is equal to the sum of the antecedent and the consequent. For example, if the ratio of apples is to bananas is as 5 is to 3, the total number of fruits is 5 plus 3, 8. Let us now look at some types of questions. Finding unknown number in a proportion. The ratio of bikes is to cars is 5 is to 2. If there are 100 bikes, how many cars are there? Here, bikes is to cars is as 5 is to 2, given bikes is equal to 100. So, 100 is to cars is as 5 is to 2. Product of means is equal to product of extreme. Therefore, 5 into cars is equal to 100 into 2, which means cars is equal to 40. Finding the rate of doing something. Four carpenters make four tables in four days. In how many days will one carpenter make one table? Here, we have three variables, carpenters, tables and trays. The question tells us, four tables are made by four carpenters in four days. Therefore, four carpenters can make one table in one day. Since the ratio of work done will be proportional, four carpenters can do one table in a day, then the ratio of four carpenters is to one table will be equal to the ratio of one carpenter doing x table. We have to find x here. Using the cross product, 4x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 1 by 4. Therefore, one carpenter makes one-fourth of a table in one day. Therefore, one carpenter will make one table in four days. Wheels and cogs, gears and teeth. A gear with 12 teeth is meshed with a gear having 28 teeth. The smaller gear makes 21 turns. How many turns has the bigger gear made? It is important to remember that when two gears are meshed, teeth and turns have an inverse relationship. That is, if G is the number of teeth and T is the number of turns, then G1 is to 1 by T1 is as G2 is to 1 by T2. Therefore, G1 by T2 is equal to G2 by T1. Here, G1 is 12, G2 is 28, T1 is 21 and T2 has to be calculated. So 12 by T2 is equal to 28 by 21 or T2 is equal to 9. Dividing things between people. 297 coins were divided amongst 3 thieves, X, Y and Z, such that 8 times X's share is equal to 12 times Y's share, which is equal to 6 times Z's share. How much did X get? 8X is equal to 12Y is equal to 6Z. Note that their shares are not in the ratio 8 is to 12 is to 6. We have to find the ratio of their shares. For this, we will first divide the above equation with the LCM of 8, 12 and 6, which is 24. Please note that dividing across the equation with the same number will not change the equation. Therefore, we have 8x by 24 is equal to 12y by 24 is equal to 6z by 24 or 
x by 3 is equal to y by 2 is equal to z by 4. Now taking two ratios at a time, we take x by 3 is equal to y by 2. Converting this into a ratio, we have x is to y is as 3 is to 2. Similarly, x by 3 is equal to z by 4 or x is to z is as 3 is to 4. We can safely say that x is to y is to z is as 3 is to 2 is to 4. Now the total number of coins is 297. Therefore, 3x plus 2x plus 4x is equal to 297. And x is equal to 33. X's share is equal to 3x, which is equal to 99 coins. Miscellaneous problems. There are several other types of ratio and proportion questions that can be asked. Prices, dimensions, rate of consumption, scales, etc. It is important that you practice enough to identify a ratio and proportion question when you see one.